Hello and welcome to Battle Heavyweights Round 6. Hey, let's just jump right in. The purposes of this round is to find the difference between these two functions when, when we insert a new worksheet column, somewhere between the lookup column and the return column. All right, let's go ahead and start with VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. We want to go find this in table one, return the value from the third column, zero for exact match, close function, and fill it down. Let's now do sum ifs equals sum ifs. We want to add up table one's cost column. We only want to return or include those rows where the item ID column is equal to our item ID. Close function, enter. We fill it down and everything is the same and we look good, okay? So now for the moment of truth, we want to know what happens if we insert a new worksheet column. Let me go ahead and insert. And now maybe we have a, you know, room to add the price, you know, uh, value or, or whatnot. But now the question is, what happens to the functions? Let's go back and check them out. Interesting. Interesting. Some ifs continues to work no problem. VLOOKUP breaks. Why? Well, because when we use range references, Excel is really good about updating them when we insert rows or columns. But let's look at VLOOKUP. Look at this third argument. It's a, it's a whole number, three. It's the return column, one, two, three. Does Excel update this or rewrite this? No, it's still three. So it's actually returning the value from the one, two, three, third column. Okay, and so VLOOKUP does not automatically update like almost every other um, function when we add new or when we insert new rows or columns, okay? so. How are we going to score this round? Well, here's how we're going to score this round. We're going to give this round to some ifs, okay, because um, it doesn't break when we an insert new, new columns. What about VLOOKUP? Well, you know, we could actually uh, accommodate that if we used a helper function like match to look for the labels, so depending on if the labels are consistent. Uh, and so, so we're going to give nine points to VLOOKUP. So at the end of round six, we have VLOOKUP 55, some ifs 58, and we will see you in round seven. Thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.